Hi guys and welcome to my first vlog. I am Atenet Lois Lantinan from 1206 class of Notre Dame of the youngest university. We are going to make a 3D model of a plant cell for today's video. After I made the 3D plant cell, I will explain the role or the function of each part. So let's get started. Most of the materials here are recyclable. I have unused 1-8 illustration board, glue, yarn, colored papers, scissors, and other things that might be useful for later. The first part of my 3D plant cell making is making the base or the body of plant cell. By tracing and cutting the 1-8 illustration board for each side of the cell body to make it look 3D. For the second part of my 3D plant cell making is to stick the colored papers to the body of cell. I'm back and I finished making the 3D plant cell. It took me a while to finish it and now I will show you and explain every part of the plant cell. So, bye! I finally finished making the 3D plant cell diorama. Using recycled materials, I was able to accomplish it for about 2 days. Now, I'm going to explain to you the role or the function of the parts of the plant cell. Plant cell. Plant cell are eukaryotic, meaning they have a membrane-bound nucleus and organelles. It was initially discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665 using a microscope. The first cell theory is credited to the work of Theodor Schwann and Matthias Jacob Schleiden in the 1830s. Cell wall is a rigid layer that surrounds the plant cell. It is located outside the cell membrane, whose main function is to provide rigidity, strength, protection against mechanical stress, and infection. Cell Membrane Cell membrane or plasma membrane supports and protects the cell, regulates the entry of molecules into the cell, and also controls the quantity of the substance entering the cell. Cytoplasm it is the fluid substance that fills the cell. It maintains the osmotic concentration of the cell and prevents them from bursting or shrinking. Endoplasmic reticulum. It is composed of both rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum 
is covered with ribosomes, hence appears rough. They follow the instruction from the nucleus and make proteins the cell needs. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is continuous through the outer nuclear membrane. It transports material through the cell and produces and digests lipids and membrane proteins. Mitochondria Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, a double membrane bound organelle and has numerous folds. It generates most of the cell supplies of adenosine triphosphate used as a source of chemical energy. Nucleus It is surrounded by a porous membrane, the nuclear membrane, which enables the movement of materials in and out of the cell. Ribosomes Ribosomes are the smallest cell organelles and are most abundant. They are found in all cells as they synthesize proteins that are required for the survival of the cell. Chloroplast are plant cell organelles that convert light energy into relatively stable chemical energy via the photosynthetic process. Plasmodesma they are microscopic channels which traverse the cell walls of the plant cell and enables transport and communication between them. Amyloplast is a colorless plant plastid. They store products like starch for synthesis of fatty acids and terpenes. Golgi apparatus is to modify proteins made by the cell and pack and export proteins to the cell parts. Vacuole is the large membrane bound chamber. Its main function is storage. It stores food, water, metabolic, and toxic wastes. Lysosomes are membrane-bound organelles that contains digestive enzymes. They break down the waste products and detoxify the cell. Vesicles are small cellular containers that perform a variety of functions. They can be used to move molecules, secreted substance, digest materials, or regulate the pressure in the cell peroxysome. Peroxysome are also exist as small vesicles around the cell. They are surrounded by a single membrane containing digestive enzymes for breaking down toxic materials. Hello guys, good evening. I hope you learned a lot in my blog about the parts of the plant cell as well as how the 3D plant cell is made. Making a 3D plant cell is a big help for me because while I make a 3D plant cell, especially in placing the parts of the plant cell, it really helps me memorize the parts of the plant cell for the upcoming biology exam. I was so happy and thankful for this performance task. I hope I help a lot in making and explaining each part of the plant cell. So, thanks for watching guys. Bye!